One of the most impressive new plugins that comes with Cubase Pro 9 and Nuendo 8 is called Frequency, a mastering quality EQ. It offers eight bands of parametric EQ, it is linear phase, and has incredibly musical results with surgical control. Let's take a look at some of the different features. When we look at the EQ, we can see our eight bands of EQ here laid out graphically. As we play material through it, we can see our frequency spectrum. If I wanted to switch that frequency spectrum to be displayed as bars, as I adjust an EQ, we can see the original plus the affected display here in the frequency response. So you can very easily have control and get an idea of what's going on visually. When we look at this, we have a piano keyboard plus our eight bands of parametric EQ. Each of these bands could also function as a low shelf, a peak where you could use for parametric, high shelf, or notch for very precise cues. The outer bands can also have up to 96 dB of cut, so you can make incredibly effective high pass, low pass filters. Finding the frequency can always be a challenge in different EQ plugins, but here as I adjust, let's say band two, and I know that this song is in the key of G, I could just come here and I can see the vertical line and it, I could line up directly with the key of the song. So I can say, okay, I wanna boost frequencies in the key of G. I could also just come here, double click and say, I wanna go to G4, type the note in and hit enter, or just come here, say G0, and you could find the frequencies. Now being able to control the shape of the EQ curve without having to always go down to these knobs can also be handled by holding down modifier keys. If you hold down the command key, I could only adjust the gain or cut. So I believe it's control command, <clears throat> holding down the alt or option key, I could only adjust the frequency. Holding down the shift key, I could only adjust the cue, or with no modifiers, I can freely place my different EQs how I want. Now when we think of stereo EQs, we also want to be able to think of each of it not as controlling both the left and right channels together, but we may have certain scenarios where we want to have independent control of the left and right channel. So if I wanted to go to band three, what I want to do is to, instead of having it chose, chosen as stereo, I could now EQ the right channel independently of the left channel. So this way, within one band of EQ, I could cut in the right channel and boost in the left channel. Another way of thinking about control in the stereo spectrum is mid and side. And when we say mid, it's not mid range. It's gonna be the middle part of the panning spectrum and the outside edges or the side. So if I wanted to go to uh, band six of my EQ, instead of left, right, or stereo, we could just hit this arrow, and now I could say I wanted just a little bit of bump in the mids, but the sides I wanted to boost the highs on. So you could have control over stereo, left, right, or mid side independently. To enable linear phase on each band of plugins, you could just come here directly below the power switch and turn on the linear phase mode for each band independently. One of the things that's incredibly helpful is this auto listen for filters mode. And we can turn this on by clicking on the speaker here. And as we do that and we play our material, I only hear the frequency that I'm affecting while the mouse is held down. As soon as I let go of the mouse, Let go. So this way you can hear exactly what you're doing with the EQ and how it's affecting the overall mix. 
So as you can see, whether you want incredibly powerful, musical, surgical control of your EQ, Frequency will, will be able to handle all those tasks very easily. If you found this video helpful, please feel free to like the video and to subscribe to the YouTube channel.